So I guess I don't need to spend a lot of time talking about what Go Awards is, and basically it's just that the uh, awards coming out in, uh, in the spring, and the lay eggs in the count year shoes, and the eggs develop under the inside the shoes and develop into several stages, mm -hmm. and then by just before, next spring they prepare before prepare and come out again and lay eggs. So the eggs, the ship, the goals develop because of the lots of eggs are laid in there, and then the larvae develop inside, and then the shoes starting to the area starting to expand, forming the typical goals. So all sorts of areas can be you have can find goals. Even as you might see that even even a little on the leaf there's a little goals, but not to mention the typical big uh, goals on the on the shoes. Okay, this is uh, we are uh, just uh, completed a survey of the goals distribution in this region. And this is the Leeton area and this is uh, uh, Griffith's area. So the different color ones are uh, indicating different levels of infestation. Uh, in the leading area so far, we still have uh, lots of uh, healthy gauze free areas, but we do have gauze infested orchards uh, scattered around. Whereas in Griffiths, you have, tend to have a bit more high infestation levels. But I have to say that although this looks a uh, reddish color, the infestation level is uh, not as high as we have seen that in, uh, in other regions. So I'm, I'm talking about on average. There are an individual farm that may have similar levels, but on average, Griffiths is not that bad. So the life cycle I've just, uh, I think, is uh, repeated. It goes uh, several stages and the PUB come out and then. After go was laid eggs, it's about after they, they start laying eggs for, as soon as they come out, and then eggs hatch into little grubs and then get to several stages. And this just shows you how parasitic was. They normally emerge a few two to three weeks later and lay eggs inside the gauze eggs, so that gauze eggs will get parasitized. The natural enemies, the few are the most uh, dominant one is that this one is Metastigmus uh, brevibalus, the, the honey colored one. That's the one that you see a lot of them once just toward the tail end when the gold the was emerging. And there's, the males are just as shows you, the males look a bit different. You might just see that, oh gee, that might be different species. So that's the males. And that's another uh, parasitic was. This is uh, quite different. You see the alpha visit is a bit longer. And that's the male. And just to give you a comparison, gauze looks like. There's also some a few unknown uh, uh, wasps as yet. Some of them could be another wasp, a gold wasp, or could be another parasitic or hyperparasitic. So our current understanding is a native pest. And it's all citrus varieties attacked. Adult wasps live for about six days in October, November in the south. Each female, female lays about 100 eggs, and most eggs are laid in the first three days after emergence. So they don't wait to come up, mate, and lay eggs, don't wait at all. And there is, we uh, yes, last year we did some uh, uh, dissecting some goals. It looks, indicate that's quite decent natural mortality, even though you don't treat it. So not uh, every egg laid in the shoes will come out as an adult next season. Timing of uh, emergence depends on temperature. So looks like last year my uh, technician I went out to see, check a few goals and it looks like it's starting a few, 10 black. So with, uh, one, one and a half weeks sometime, you're starting to see a lot of goals coming out. If, when you see a lot of goals, how many each <coughs> tiny section of one centimeter section of the goal can contain up to 20 wasps. So we have a lot of those goals. Just imagine how many wasps will come out. Eggs are laid in about, eggs hatch in about 18 days in November. So after eggs laid, after about 18 days they hatch. In our region, 
most eggs finish the hatching, they can be larvae toward the end of uh, December. This shows you the different timing when the gold was come out and the parsley was come out. Okay. Our main purpose of this project, because of the urgency of the gold was in the, in the south, we need to find some chemical that can uh, manage them. So well, we tested quite a few. This is what this one we found looks, looks works quite well. This uh, surround is um, we tested quite a few did a few trials, and this one can with the uh, two surround sprays at two point five to five kilogram per hundred liter at emergence reduced goals by nine over ninety percent. But you see, this is uh, when you are uh, sprayed, you can see that typically that. Uh, it's quite clearly, but with the, originally we used the agro, we used quite high water rate, that would also mean quite a lot of chemicals, and it's quite expensive. So we tried to uh, use another uh, wetter, to wet, we managed to reduce the water rate by half, and, uh, and also to the chemical rate. This one thing, surround sprays may cause an increase in wet scale number, but the control is you see that's the control area over 90% reduction of goals. For goal, after goal was uh, <laughs> let eggs into their shoots, then if there's, they're not accessible for uh, contact chemicals, so we need to find some chemical to control it uh, inside the, the goals. So we tested quite a, uh, several systemic insecticide. What we found out was the samurai at 8 to 12 grams per tree and coupled with 9 meals per tree in late October can significantly reduce numbers in the following season. For uh, some of the trees, for uh, Valencia trees, you may not be able to use uh, system insect salt at this uh, in, in the spring, in late spring. So we tested uh, uh, in uh, summer and autumn applications. Yeah, we used test of Movento and with and uh, some of Samurai. And Movento we found out if you apply it in uh, from January, February, March, April, we found that was was quite good. Was actually suppressed the emergence of the gall wasp. Basically you still see the gauls, but many of the walls uh, inside the gauls will not come out. So next season we get a lot of numbers. <coughs> and the uh, samurai 12 grams per tree also reduced wasp emergence. But this rate was not is not registered. So for Movento timing for you can apply January, March or April, or if all effective. I think in my results the March later one, March, April would be better. Okay. So for any chemical we uh, use, we need to find out its toxicity to the uh, its beneficials. We did some test of those uh, toxicity of samurai because it's newly registered. We did not find any toxicity of samurai on the la on the ladybirds. That's the red scale lady predator, and that's from uh, commercially available from uh, bugs and bugs. And field parasites on the red scale by aphides was not negatively affected. And the abundance of this ladybird, which is uh, quite common in our region, by Zobius ladybird, and this number was not also not reduced, not affected. But we did notice some uh, reduction of parasitism by this, another parasitoid of the red scale. So this one is also quite common, but uh, there's some effect on that on this little parasite, which is a natural enemy of the red scale. Okay, speaking of, speaking of chemical control, this people might just uh, ask the question, I use the chemical, I still see a goals coming up, uh, numbers are becoming more and more each year. So I just, I think it's time that I'm putting up the, just shows you the potential of the goals to increase. So if you're starting to have 100 eggs, uh, 100 uh, goals, if you don't control, next generation you get 17, 1755. 
you get 50% control. You still have uh, 8, uh, 178, still more than the base number. You get 75% control. It's 439. 90%, you still get 176. So when you have 95% control, you get lower than last season. So that's a, a single chemical, so we can't just, I mean, chemical helps us reduce that. But doesn't mean that when you see the goal was number still coming up, doesn't mean the chemical not working at all. And I have to say that this is a, uh, assuming that no, there was no uh, parasitoids in uh, at work, which is purely assuming the natural mortality and uh, the, the fecundity and uh, goal. And, and goal was uh, uh, for, uh, yeah, um, natural mortality and uh, para, uh, parasitoid level, uh, level is not considered. So this one just shows you another example that we just, uh, we just came back from Queensland. We did some survey. The so growers said, oh, we have sprayed used to samurai. It's not working. And then we, did, we, we decided to do uh, a check. So we went to the samurai treated area. We looked at uh, compared current season goals with last season goals in samurai treated one and uh, in untreated one. So we did notice that even with samurai treated ones, the current season compared with last season is more more than last season. So it's a one point two, so twenty nine percent more than last season. But when untreated ones. It's more than five hundred times, five times more. So there is some. It doesn't mean somewhere it didn't work, but it did work. But the numbers was not the control was not sufficient alone by samurai to reduce it to that. So, it, but compared with untreated ones, you get even higher. We also just did simple trials with pruning because pruning, I have to say, that is all has always always need to be considered as part of the uh, goals management because considering them they're all in the goals if you can remove theoretically remove all the goals next season no no what's coming out so you reduce number quite dramatically so we we did we just uh, did a simple trial so we cut the goals what is the best time how soon how early you have to cut the goals we don't have to worry about uh, them what's coming out so we, we noticed that it's about 28 days before, if you leave the goals, cut goals on the open, so if you cut, if you cut goals 28 days before the was coming out, they'll be all right. But after 28 days, just less than 28 days of the was emergence, you have to mulch them or burn them. But you leave them in the shade, they can still come out 58 days, if you cut them 58 days before it was emergence they'll still come out, so depending on the uh, where you put. So the safest way is 28 days. So after that, if you close to that, you burn them. And then, of course, the pruning will encourage the shoots coming up, new shoots, and that's a complication that, that would uh, get all the shoots that are coming out subsequently would get, be susceptible to go or We also did a quick uh, study on the Heat stress because Queensland people consider that the, the reason the increase goal was number maybe uh, uh, due to the high uh, to the high temperatures uh, heat waves. So we tested the heat stress on the the main parasitoid of course. We noticed that uh, even for 40 degrees for five hours, if you provide the parasitoids with water excess water, it's not survival is not affected. But with no water excess, it's all done. Five hours. So that shows a short intermittent irrigation during a heat wave may enhance the survival of the parasitic wasp. This I just shows you what's the potential of uh, our biology control. If you have para, para, um, established a parasitoid, what level you, are you see, going to see them goals crushing down and extinct, or are you going to see them stay high? We'll see them fluctuate. Yeah. So this just shows you there's, a, there's several scenarios depending on the mortality, natural mortality, 
and uh, depending how efficient the goal was find their shoots and how efficient the parasitoid was finding them. So with parasitoid, you can you, you can keep the level of uh, uh, goal was to a lower level, but you're not you're not a uh, you're not uh, uh, completely eliminated. But you may also get these sort of fluctuations coming down and back up and down because just consider the goal was and parasitoid are closely linked. Any was the laid eggs in the pars in the goal was egg. So instead, goal was parasitoid come out. If you kill the goal was egg or larvae. And the parasite with no parasite was would, would, would emerge. So it's all closely linked. So take home message. Goals peak emergence is late October to early November 25th. Uh, that should not should not be there. It's normally around this sort of time. So two sprays of surround at 2.55 kilograms before and during emer goals emergence can kill 90 percent of goals, uh, reduce the goals. Water rate can be reduced to uh, 2,000 liter, but we haven't tested the other ones. Maybe even there's potential to reduce the water rate even even a uh, higher, even reduce the lot to even lower level. Lot for larval control, compound of guard of nine mil per tree and samurai at eight grams per tree in late spring were effective, but that percentage of reduction of course was less uh, was not as high as uh, with surround. Autumn uh, suppression goal was can be made with can be uh, can use a movento to uh, apply during March and April were quite effective in suppressing uh, suppress the goal was for financial trees. Larval survival in pruning so 28 days in the open and 50 day, eight days in the shade. Parsley was uh, in the early stage of establishment in uh, southern regions. At most sites, their population are not yet sufficiently high to effective control goals. It's about uh, a few percentage. To, uh, sometimes as high as 10 over 10 percent, but most of them around 2 to 5 percent in our region. So, Stephen, do you want to say oh, that? Yes. Thank you. So, just to put some costs up on the uh, up on the board as as options, you can see we've costed out the use of uh, these products. And obviously you can see Samurai, Confidor is also up there. However, Confidor is not registered for Gore Wasp, it's registered for Red Scale. So you're always applying it for Red Scale control, you must remember that. Uh, there's also Movento there, which jean mentioned, is great as an option in the autumn time, in that, in that February, March period, where things are still moving along and you think you need a, something to do. Well, we've got Valencias that you couldn't have put down Confidor or Samurai. The uh, Movento is another option. Of course, if you're using it for red scale control, you cannot be using it for gore wasp control. This is a red scale uh, product. Um, the thing about Samurai and Confidor is they, they are vastly different products and they are applied very differently in the ground. You need to check with your, with your local reps uh, about the application of these two chemicals. And also, let's just say Samurai can also control Fuller's Rose Weevil, might, whilst Confidor might do a better job with the red scale in, in certain situations. So they're both different chemicals. Although they both have a good effect on the boar wasp, they may, certain situations, one might be good, another situation, another, might, another one might be good. It's up to you to ask those questions, have a look at what bugs you want to control, other bugs, and then you base your decision on whichever one of those ones. Now with the surround, it's another great option. Uh, it's it's non-chemical. It's 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 sort of safe, and uh, yeah, if at, at the uh, you can use it the 2,000 liter rate, and it's 800. Is it quite expensive? But if if let's say Valencia's, you've got no choice. You can't put down any chemicals. That is an option, and you can even go down to 2,000. Maybe just I believe possibly just one spray, time just when they're starting to come out. That may actually get you over the mark. Possibly so, uh, and, and that's and that's a need of much reduced cost. So uh, at two thousand liters per hectare. 